positively impacted, including your emotional, mental condition by fasting twice a week. And they've spaced it out such that they arrived at the conclusion Monday and Thursday. Amazing. I actually have seen this on BBC myself. I mean, I've lost about 19 pounds of fat over a period of about two and a half months. And I was quite skeptical about it before I began. And then I looked into it and the science was really impeccable. Not just about weight loss, but about all the other health improvements you get with it. And that's mm. why I wrote a book about it. And that w what makes it psychologically attractive is the fact that you're not going to be doing it for the rest of your life, if you like, you're going to do it two days a week. And I do it on a Monday and a Thursday, yeah. uh, not least because that's what the Prophet Muhammad suggested many years ago. And all the great religions have advocated fasting. Well, what's striking about it is there have been a number of clinical trials now done, uh, some here, some in the States, following up hundreds of women, hundreds of men, over quite long periods of time. And what they find is that people actually feel more energetic. They feel more enthused. Men in particular find it easier to exercise while fasting. They burn more fat. Mm. That it makes you feel more cheerful. There's actually quite a lot of evidence, <laughs> which is very, very unexpected. Yeah. But what happens is your brain starts producing this stuff called neurotrophic factor, uh, which is both protective against Alzheimer's and dementia, but it also makes you feel good. And it's amazing when we say it's a sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, even the weak from amongst us start thinking, yeah, you know, it's just a sunnah. Don't use the word just a sunnah. A sunnah is something magnificent. It is a gift of Allah to us via Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Look at it, study it, see. But when the non-Muslims come about with the same in terms of discovery, we say, wow, I'm going to start fasting twice a week. Subhanallah. Now we have a bonus here because we have the sunnah as well as the discoveries. Both are together. So let us start inshallah, try it at least sometime. Like you know, sunnah is not farad. Sunnah meaning that which was encouraged by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and it was not made compulsory. It is not compulsory, but it has its merits. It has benefits in it which are amazing. So I'd like to promote it from this platform to say my brothers and sisters, including myself, try out this fast Monday and Thursday. If not every Monday and Thursday, at least sometimes, you know, try it out. See the benefit you have. You fast, you arrive at a new level of spirituality. Believe me, trust me. It is just like Salatul Tahajjud. Tahajjud is the pre-Fajr prayer, which we always say, if you have not engaged in it, try it out at least a few times in your life. Come on, try it out. I'm sure we can be strong enough to do that. We can try it. So get up once a month and say, you know what, let me try Tahajjud. Do it, see what happens to you. I promise you, something will change in you permanently. You know that?